In this video, I'm going to show you three rare treasure islands that you can both find unique items at, as well as unique special pals. So if we'd go ahead and we open up our map here, the very first one is actually going to be at the lower end over here. If I go ahead and I aim my cursor at it, you can see here the coordinates are 92 minus 719 at the bottom left of your map. As you can tell, just hover over your map to figure out where the spot is. Put down a marker by pressing the E key or the marker key if you're playing on console so that you can get to this location. Now you will see there is a lot of water, but don't worry, you can fly flying mounts over it. Even if you run out of stamina, it will like literally just like do walking speed on top of the water and still recover stamina. There is no actual drowning in this game. As far as I've seen, I've never drowned. You can just make your way across like this. This is the number one wildlife sanctuary. As you can see over here, when we're at this location, there are three tiers. There's a higher tier a middle tier and a lower tier, and you can find rare pals around here. This is actually probably the one that has the most basic. The next two have really rare pals that you don't see anywhere else, but you can also find special rare chests. Like usually at the top over here, there is a chest that you can open up that will give you some really cool items. Things like blueprints, things that you can sell, or even accessories that you can equip. Like for example, this attack pendant that increases my attack by a ton. You can see here it's increased my attack by 15 points just by wearing this accessory. You can get cool items like that by opening up the chests that you'll find across the different areas here, as well as finding the unique and rare pals. Like for example, the one rare pal that spawns here is on the cover of the game and you can't, I don't think you can find it anywhere else apart from breeding it specifically. Now this is my modded world that basically has a ton of increases and stuff so that I can explore the game in like almost like in a creative mode. So some of the stuff I'm doing here are not specific to the actual release of the game. But you'll see here, if you keep flying up and down, you will get a chance of respawning the pals around here. And this is one of the only places to find Grisbolt in the game. This is like literally one of the only spots that you can find Grisbolt. Criminal activity underway. What did I do now? But you can also find other rare pals, like for example, Veilet. I think Veilet is a higher level spawn from a fight later on in the game. As you can see on the map here, it's a level 38 dungeon for Veilet. But you can get one here at level 20 on this island. Nice and simple. If we head over to number two, Wildlife Sanctuary, this one is going to have pals that are around level 30 and much better items in the chests. This one is going to be right over here as you can see what it looks like from here. Of course you're going to have to fly to it. If I open up my map and we go all the way to the left side over here and I zoom in, it's at this area over here. You can see the coordinates on the map are minus 664 and minus 112. So go to this location, set a marker here and you can head there. You can see it's just north of like the volcano area. And as you can see this is number two, Wildlife Sanctuary. Now this one's also going to have pals, but of a much higher level. Some of them here are level 40 and above. As you can see, this is a great place to find Jormantide Ignis. You can see there's a few of them, it's quite common here. There's also the Incineram Noct, Wampo Bontan, Botan, that one over there. If you just fly up and down here, you can get the spawns to despawn like this, and then you fly back and hopefully new and rarer ones will spawn because some of them spawn more often than others. For example, look at this one over here. This is a Menasting. Menasting, that's quite a rare spawn for this. I actually had to catch this in another place. But you can see that's over here. There's also Warsect, but of course this is all level 40. So this is a great place to pick them up if you're trying to catch more of them apart from their actual dungeon variants, which you can only do once every hour. If I go into the second level here, you can see there's a Verdash. There'll also be a special chest right at the top and chests on the bottom sides for you to loot and get like, you know, some really good stuff and accessories like I already spoke about. You can also find Quivern over here. So there's a few, probably a bunch of pals that actually spawn in these wildlife sanctuaries. Let's go ahead and head to the third and final one. This next one is going to have you traveling through the desert to get to the top right hand side of the map. And it will also look like a typical wildlife sanctuary where you will have to fly across the water to get there. If I go ahead and open up my map and we go ahead and see it's at the top right hand side, you'll see it looks just like this. We're going to zoom in, aim at it, and you'll see the coordinates are 662 and 628. Go to those cords, set a marker on your map and go to this location when you're ready. This is number three, Wildlife Sanctuary. Again, all the chests here are amazing. They have good loot. You go ahead and open up. You can also get skill fruits on them, which are insane. Like you get some insane skill fruits here. You can see there's a Fengalope. This is probably one of the most popular spawns that you get here. 
Here's Lyleen. Lyleen is one of the best um, pals that you can get. She's actually really great at like seeding. There's a Bushi at level 43. I think if you're here during nighttime, you also see more nighttime spawns specifically for these areas too. You can see here's a Phalarius, big bird. Here's a Blazamut, a Blazamut. Looks pretty scary looking. Looks like Incineram Noct is here too. Now, while I have shown you some spawns of the pals that you'll find in this areas, I haven't shown you them all. They are like super rare ones that, you know, haven't spawned for me in this location. So the more time you spend here, the, the higher the chance you will have at finding other spawns and rarer ones too. You should be able to like at least get 10 new pals for your pal deck at each of these wildlife sanctuaries. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.